Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video session, I will teach you how you will calculate the sum of first five numbers and uh, sum of user-defined numbers and sum of positive n numbers. Let's start the program. Now, program number one, write a program that calculates the sum of first five numbers and display the sum on output screen. I'm writing x equal to one, while x less than equal to 10, while x less than equal to 5, colon, sum equal to sum plus x. And what is the value in sum? Value is in sum is 0. Okay. The value is in sum is 0. By default, by default, I have given 0 to sum because if I will add 0, 0 will not affect while you can add any number. In. Sum equal to sum plus x then x equal to x plus 1. The purpose of this statement is to increase the value of x, to update the value of x. If I will not update the value of x, loop will not be terminated. When loop will be terminated, it will shows me print sum equal to in variable sum. Okay. Now I want to run this program. Sum equal to 15. It shows me the value of sum equal to 15. I want to explain the execution of the program. First, x equal to 1. Okay. When x equal to 1, it will store that 1 into variable of x. Next, sum equal to 0, the value of sum is 0. While x less than equal to 5, this is a condition. It will check whether this condition is true or false. Value of x is in 1. 1 less than equal to 5. Yes then it will calculate this statement it will execute this statement and what is written in this assignment statement sum equal to sum of x value of sum is 0 plus value of x is 1 0 plus 1 it will give you 1 next it will increase 1 in value of x no value of x will become 2 2 is less than equal to 5 yes it will calculate sum plus x okay the value of sum in previous step is 1 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 it will give you 3 next it will increase 1 now value of x will become 3 okay it will check again 3 less than equal to 5 yes it is true then it will add the previous value is in sum was 3 plus 3 3 means this is the value of x. 3 plus 3, it will give you 6. Then it will increase in value of x. It will become 4. And then 4 is less than equal to 5. Yes, it will It will again it, uh, calculate the sum. Sum equal to sum plus x. Value of sum is 6. And value of x is 4. 6 plus 4, it will give you 10. Next, it will increase value, uh, value of x. Now, a value of x is 5. And then 5 is less than equal to 5. Yes, 5 is less than equal to 5. Then, where sum equal to sum plus x. Value of sum is 10. And value of x is 5. 10 plus 5, 15. Okay. Now, it will increase in value of x. Now, value of x will become 6. And while 6 less than equal to 5, this condition is false. This condition is not true. When this condition is not true, the body of the while loop will be terminated, will be ignored. And when it will be ignored, next statement is print sum equal to sum. And it will, it will display sum equal to value of sum. And value of sum is 15. In second program, write a program that asks to user enter the five numbers and then calculate and display sum of these numbers. In this case, use it will uh, it will get the value from user. How many times? Five times. And then you will have to calculate the sum. X equal to one. Sum equal to zero. How many times you need to run it? While x less than equal to five, it will execute five times. But what value do you will add? You will ask from the user num equal to e value input enter the number no i will display this message num equal to e value input enter the number 
and user will enter the number and that number I want to add it. That number I want to add it. Okay, sum equal to sum plus num. Okay, the purpose of this statement is to calculate five times. Okay, when user will enter the five time value, then this loop will be ignored. Once the body of the loop will be ignored, then it will move to the print statement. And what is written in print statement? Print sum equal to sum. I want to run this program. Enter the number 5, 3, 2, 10, 2. Okay, sum is 22. 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 2, 10. 10 plus 10, 20. Plus 2, 22. Okay, how many numbers they, they have asked? 5 numbers. This program has asked 5 numbers and user have entered these 5 numbers and it will give you the sum of these numbers. Next program is write a program that asks to calculate and display the sum of n numbers and it will stop on entering of negative number. Okay. In the previous program, we have calculated the 5 number. We have asked 5 numbers from the user. Now, in this way, there is no limitation. Okay. You, you, you can add. You can add number. You can ask the number from users and add it until you will enter negative value. Not 0, negative value. Means less than 0. Okay. For that purpose, what I will do? Now, before, before starting of the loop, I will ask this value. Control C. Control V. Now, my condition is depends on num. What I am entering the value into the num. Okay. Meanwhile, num greater than equal to 0 it will also accept 0 when it will be terminated when you will enter the negative value okay you have entered the num e value input enter the number and while num greater than equal to 0 while num greater than equal to 0 what you will do you will calculate the sum we will remove this statement and we will enter last statement of the body of the loop should be the updated value of the condition okay and i am again asking from the user they will enter the number okay first it will enter the number if number greater than equal to zero then it will calculate the sum sum equal to sum plus num sum value is zero okay no need for x and it will ask enter the number number will store into variable num and while num greater than equal to 0, sum equal to sum plus num. Okay. And num equal to e value. And last it will show me sum equal to this. Sum is variable in variable. Which variable? Sum. Okay. Now I want to run this program. Enter the number. I'm entering 2, 5, 3, 5, 10, 5. Now I want to enter negative 2. Okay. It will shows me sum equal to 30. Okay. It will not include this value. Okay. Remaining value is 5 plus 2, 7. 7 plus 3, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. 15 plus 10, 25. Plus 5, 30. Sum equal to 30. If you will run minus 5 at the first time, it will show sum equal to 0. Okay. This is the program. Thank you students and if you like my video please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Jazakallah khair.